The Cedar Catholic Band was on hand Saturday to entertain a large contingent of fans as they watched the Lady Trojans storm past Axtell for a three-set sweep in the district finals at Albion. The win put Cedar into this week's state tournament in Lincoln, the team's sixth visit to state in the last seven years. Solid serving and some ferocious kills along with a solid blocking effort at the net helped Cedar take the 25-18 first set win. The team was challenged in the second set before the Lady Trojans pulled out the 27-25 decision. Axtell poured it on in the third set, leading by five late in the set, but Cedar roared back to earn the 26-24 decision and claim the match. The Wildcats' gritty play forced the Lady Trojans to keep making adjustments, Coach Danae Buss said. We saw that one dump where Annika came flying in and Katie was right there behind her. And that was a big momentum swing for us there. Um, just really staying aggressive with our defense. Sometimes teams just get some good hits, but it's all about how you bounce back. We just have confidence that we can do it, and our team has grown so much, and we know our strengths, and so when we get done like that, we just persevere to the end, and we just did really good team chemistry tonight. Team chemistry is key to this team's success, and that chemistry was strengthened when Cottle suffered an ankle injury just before the start of the conference tournament, and was not able to play again until sub-districts. I was definitely nervous during conference, you know, not being able to play, and I did get told right away that I'd be out for like three weeks. But, you know, over that week of conference, so many girls grew into different positions. And I think that was a key to our success this week is those girls learned their roles from me not being there. And so when I came back, team chemistry was great um, and everyone just had full confidence. And so it was it was almost a blessing in disguise. I mean, it was hard to sit and watch, but so many girls grew so much over that conference. So it worked out good. Cedar Catholic coach Danae Buss said Cottle's injury could have been a disaster for the team, but it turned out it helped the team get better. The first night out without her, you know, we had some questions on, you know, who was going to step up as a leader, but they really worked hard to up their communication skills and just new leaders emerged and our team is much stronger now that we have the, the full set. <laughs> Buss also said the team had a goal to return to state this year and they worked hard to attain that goal. I think they just really wanted to improve upon where we ended last year and um, just get ourselves a little bit further and they knew they, they had it last year, we just weren't able to finish it and they just know their potential. So it's exciting to watch them you know, evolve into such a great team. Cedar Catholic will open the state tournament Thursday at 1 p.m. at the Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln against Cambridge. For the Cedar County News, I'm Jake Higgins reporting.